Which stud shape should you choose for your new boots? And is it even important? Well, actually, yes it is, because it kind of defines how aggressive or smooth your boots feel in the ground. So today, I'll talk you through all the different stud types and shapes to hopefully help you decide which one is the right one for you. And as always, you can find all of the boots in the video and many, many more in the link to our store right up there or in the description. Let's do it. Okay, today I'm going to be working with three general stud shapes. Conical studs or round studs, you have your blades, and finally you have your hybrids, which, well, they're a bit in between. Now, the short TLDR version is that conical studs are great for maneuverability and rotation and, in general, just comfort, whereas blades are a bit more aggressive. They're a bit better for cutting and pushing off and changing direction and everything that has to do with aggressive, responsive movements. But they are also a bit more risky for your ankles and your knees if you get unlucky. And a great way to avoid that is to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on so you get the best boot advice out there. You won't regret it. Now, conical studs are great when we're talking rotational maneuverability because the stud shape penetrates the ground relatively easily, but also when they're in the ground, the shape here means that they can turn and twist and rotate more or less completely freely. And that means that there's a smaller risk of the boots getting stuck in the ground, which is what can lead to some really, really nasty twists and injuries. You don't want that to happen to yourself. I can promise you that. Now, this also means that when you put your foot down and you really change direction, there's less stress put on your joints and your ankles and your knees. And this also means that typically I find conical studs to be a bit more comfortable and easygoing. Now, on the other hand, blades are great if you like that very aggressive, responsive feel, which is also why it's mostly a speed boot thing. See, compared to conical studs here, blades are designed so they have much larger, flatter surfaces to transfer power and energy to the ground, and thus the acceleration and the energy transfer, the push-off, becomes a bit more powerful. And especially when you have these chevron bladed studs, you actually have two flat surfaces to transfer energy to the ground when you push off, making that bite very, very powerful. And as a wingback or a winger, I love this really aggressive feedback that you get and the sensation of just having bite and traction in the ground. But the reason why bladed studs can actually be a little bit dangerous at times is their ability or lack of ability to rotate in the ground. See, like I said earlier, conical studs rotate freely, but bladed studs with their edgy and flat surface, they do not, which means that they have a higher risk of actually getting stuck. And when your boot gets stuck, but the rest of your body and your leg keeps going, well, this can happen. And that's bad news, guys. You don't want that. You can get really badly injured. That also means that if you, for some reason, wear bladed studs on artificial grass, it's something you should really try and avoid because, you know, they're simply too grippy. And when you play on AG, that's not what you want, at least in terms of injury prevention. That's also the reason, by the way, why dedicated AG boots have rounded studs. That shape is simply much safer. And I know that, as a rule of thumb, I say that you generally shouldn't wear FG boots on AG pitches. But if you have to, for some reason, make sure that they're at least conical studs. It's just a lot safer. And okay, you'll still lose your warranty, but at least wearing conical studs isn't going to be potential suicide for your ankles. I've made that mistake, so you don't have to. Don't be like me. And finally, you have your hybrid shape, which can take any shape or form really, but which are typically half moon shape, where you have this flatter inside and a rounded outside. And on paper, that's a really good idea, giving you the best from both worlds with that slightly bigger, flatter surface for when you cut and push off, and then the nice rotational maneuverability on the outside for when your boot needs to twist and turn in the ground. However, I realize that if you're decent at everything, you're an expert at nothing. But with that said, if you want the balance between conical and bladed studs, this is a really nice option. However, for AG, again, I probably try and avoid it because of the flat surfaces. It's not worth the risk.
So, to sum it up, conical studs are safer and better for rotational movements, whereas blades are a bit bolder and more aggressive for acceleration. But which one would be your favorite? Let me know in the comment section right down below. And remember that you can buy all of the boots in the link to Unisport right over there. Of course, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And then maybe consider hitting the playlist right down in the bottom corner if you want to improve as a footballer. There are just shy of 300 videos, so I mean, get to it. And with those words, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.